In the noisy environment of the California Science Center, visitors explored the life-size replica of the Cassini spacecraft. Meantime, millions of kilometers away, the real space probe orbits the giant planet in total silence, slowly burning the last drops of its fuel. Scientists and engineers have decided that instead of just letting it run out of fuel on its own and then not being able to control any of its instruments, they're going to manually and intentionally deorbit the spacecraft. There are two reasons for sending Cassini to its fiery death. Without its engines, it will be out of control and could cause irreparable damage to Saturn's moon Enceladus, which researchers believe may harbor some primitive life. Scientists are afraid that it's going to crash into Enceladus, and there's some potential for contamination. You don't want to contaminate a place that could potentially host life if you want to actually go there and study it someday. The other reason is more exciting probe will get as close as possible to the planet's surface. As soon as we hit the upper atmosphere, the, um, the, the probe is going to start to fall apart. It'll start to burn up because just because of the friction with the upper atmosphere. And so when the process starts, there's only a matter of time, but they're going to be sending back as much information as they can, as quickly as they can. Cassini has already earned its place in the history of space research. It discovered seven new moons orbiting Saturn and landed a probe on Titan, one of the largest moons. During its numerous flybys of the most interesting moon, Enceladus, Cassini discovered evidence of a large internal ocean of salty water, which points to a possibility of microbial life. Scientists will be studying for years the huge amount of data Cassini sent to the Earth. The final day of this joint project between U.S., European and Italian space agencies will be September 15th. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.